My name is Ryan Steiner. I work for the Natural Resource Research Institute, which is part of the University of Minnesota Duluth. Uh, I'm an avian ecologist. We're looking at three three species, American woodcock, viri, and golden wing warbler, uh, all of which are declining, and all which are typically thought of to use what we call early successional habitat, forests that are much younger on the younger side, so as young as the clear cut. Um, but if we want to reverse the declines on these these species, the only place we can do that is here, because this is the only place that you're adding birds to the population. In the winter, we don't want them to die there, and in migration, we don't want them to die there, but to add to the population, where they're, where those breeding grounds are is the only place you're adding numbers. And so if we can reduce that mortality, that's really the only way to turn things around. There's completely mature forest, you know, massive trees. There's areas that are about 8 to 11 years old uh, in that range. And then there's the clear cut that's, that's relatively recently cut. Um, and so there's all those different habitats, and they're all, they're all very, very mixed together. So, you know... These birds, wherever they are, they have access to the habitat they're in, but they would also have access to other habitats, which is very important to the project. So Viri being uh, the thrush species, uh, you can imagine a smaller version of a, of a robin in shape um, with this really nice warm brown color to the back and speckles on the chest. It's personally my favorite bird out here. The nests are a little easier to find and they're, they're very interesting to me. So this is the nest. Um, as I said, this is one that's already fledged. Uh, so these birds actually were successful at this spot. Um, the nest is just like we thought it might be right at the base of one of these clumps. It's sort of a bulky nest sort of woven together by with grass and leaves. Um, if you've ever seen a robin nest in your backyard, maybe on the eve of the house, it's actually pretty similar to that. There are a lot of these birds, um, and so we have reason to believe that this is a place that they're successful. I mean, until you get out there into the actual forest, you don't actually know how successful they are, but certainly the populations are higher in, in this, this area out here, particularly out here on some of this land and land for them. So hopefully hopefully we make a, a better world for, for birds through our management practices. That's certainly a hope of mine as somebody that really loves birds, um, but hopefully in those actions we also benefit some of those more difficult to study species.